You can now start it. Ahala is the uh, collection of things. Ahala is a collection of different items. You know, before now, we were that shape before now. Or go variable that we create before now. All these variables, all of those variables, they can only store one item at a time. Are we getting it? All the variables we dealt with before now can only store one item at a time. But an array is a container that can store multiple items. Show you, I'm Yes. Okay. So an array is a container that can store multiple items, not just one. It can store a lot of items. So in order to create an array in JavaScript, you use the square braces like this. Then you can now start inserting items into the array. Each item is separated from the next item using a comma. So let's keep items in this array. So So how many items do we have in this array? Four. Good. So we have four items in this particular array. What about this? How many items do we have here? Three. Good. Okay. Three items. So this are an array is the items in an array they are separated using comma. Next. Okay. When you have an array like this. You can check the number of items in the array with a function or with a method called, uh, sorry, with a property called length. With a property. The name of this array, dot length. This dot length is going to tell you the number of items in this array. So, in other words, the number of items in an array is the length of the array. Any question? Question. So if I say console log a dot length, you know this is going to give me three, happy? Yeah. Because there are only three items in this array. I will say the three. Yeah. Let's move on. Next is that we also need to keep in mind what we call the position. Now, the in, when you are dealing with an array, the values in an array they are located at different positions in that array. So this T is located at the first position. Do you understand? This A is located at the second position. Six is located at the third position. So, but these positions, they are not called positions, they are called index. So we can say this T is located at index one. This A is index, located at index two. Six is located at index three. Do we get it? Yeah. Okay. So we can say two is located at index four, on and on like that. But, what happens is that when you are dealing with array, the position does not start with one. The position starts from zero. It doesn't start from one. Instead, it starts from zero. So in other words, this T is located at index zero. A is located at index one. Six is located at index two. Two is located at index three. Any question on that part? Zero, one, two, three. Yes, zero, one, two, three. Right. Let's move on. So, if we now say, because there are sometimes you may want to check what is at a point, what is at a particular position. So if I say, hey, index two, what are we going to see? If I say console log, a index two. 
What are we going to say? Six. Good. Six. Can you see that JavaScript is simple? Six. <laughs> So A index one, what are we going to see? A. A good. Okay. So A index six, what are we going to see? Uh, undefined. Good. Undefined. Correct. So it's as simple as that. Now you can have more items to this array by using the push method. So you're going to call the name of the array. The name of this array is A. So dot push. So whenever you push, it goes to the end of the array. So I can push, let's say James into this array. So you know you push James into the array, the James goes into this array. So if I say console log A now, I'll see all the items and you realize that this James will now be seen. In, uh, in this area, inside this area. Question? It's clear. Okay, let's proceed. Aside push, I can pop it. I can say a dot pop. When you pop an array, you are removing the last item in the array. So let's say console log a. And you realize that these two would have been removed by the time we check it. It has been removed. So array has different methods. This pop, this push, they are methods. The push is a method, pop is a method. Array has shift, it has. So in fact, as we proceed, you are going to check some of these methods together. And because of this training. Okay. Yes, sir. Can we specify the index we want to pop? Yes. That's it. So you make use of what we call shifts. In fact, you can read on it how shift works. Shift. So you can shift an array. That's with that you can remove item at a particular position. In fact, you can. In fact, array has different methods. For you to see some of these methods, come here and say, A, hey, you know A is an array, Abby. Dot. You see, concat this every field, filter, find, find index. Let's go down. Find last, find last index, flat, flat map for each, as on property. This. So, arrays, has diff arrays have different methods. Splice, you can splice it. Okay, but the same syntax, right? Yes, a dot, for instance, let's say you want to map it, that becomes a dot map. Don't worry, in the course of the training, we are going to look at some of this. Of course, we are not going to check all, but we are going to look at some of the common ones. Uh, these slides also can help you to remove items from an array. Slides, you can slice the array. Question. Check out this, you? Yes, sir. Okay. So arrays, are, arrays have different methods, many of them. The next thing is that we, after looking at how an array looks like, how to store items in an array, we want to look at something we call loop. Loop. Say loop. 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 Ah, loop. It's like this. You know, uh, I don't know if you have it in your music playlist, loop. In my own music yes, play playlist, I have loop. Yes, what is the function of loop in your music playlist? If you have it there, loop help us to specify how we want the the music to play. Do we want it to continue to replay Good. or to play once? Thank you. Or to continue to play particular one song and not move to the next one. There are different type of loops there. Good. Thank you, sir. So loop allows you to specify whether you should keep repeating something or not. You can loop one. When you loop one, it means that you are saying that you should keep repeating that single song. You can loop all. 
it's going to be playing it from beginning to to the end, and when it ends, it goes back to the beginning. Do you get it? Let's say I have yeah. ten songs. It's going to start from the beginning. If I loop all, it starts from the beginning to number ten. On getting to the last one, it's going to go back to the beginning and start afresh. But if there is no loop, then when it gets to the end, it just stops there. So loop is like repeating something. When you want to do something over and over again, you think about using loop. So loop is used to do something over and over again. Any question? Show you are. Yeah. So we have different loops in JavaScript. We have the for loop, we have the while loop, we have the do while loop. The for loop and the while loop look they do the same thing. The do while loop is a little bit different. We're going to look at the for loop together. And the reason we are looking at the for loop is because it has what we call syntactic sugar. The syntax look more pleasant than the while loop. So since they do the same thing, then we can just look at the for loop instead of looking at the while loop. And the for loop has seem to have a, to have a better syntax, even though they do the same thing. But one syntax looks more pleasing to the eyes. That's why we call it syntactic sugar. So that's why we are looking at the for loop. And most developers also make use of the for loop instead of the why loop. Not because it is faster, it's not faster. They work at the same speed as much as I know. They work at the same speed, but just that one loop more pleasant to the eyes than the other. So let's see how the for loop looks like. Remember, the essence of the loop is to do something over and over again. So this is how the for loop works. For. When you have a for loop, the first thing inside this parenthesis, of course, the for loop starts with this word F O R. When JavaScript sees this word F O R, it knows that oh, you're about to write for loop. Are we getting it? Okay. So the first thing inside a for loop is initialization of a variable. You want to initialize a variable. You want to set a variable. So I can say variable a equals to two. So the first thing inside a for loop, inside this bracket like this. This parenthesis is to initialize a variable, and we've done that just now. Variable a equals to. Can we move on? Yeah. After creating a variable, the next thing is inside a for loop is to write a conditional statement. What is the essence of this conditional statement? Remember, the essence of the for loop is to repeat something, to do something over and over again. So after all of this, whatever you want to do will be inside this parenthesis. Let's say I want to alert, or let's just console log. I want to console log hello. So after initializing a variable, there will be a conditional, you are going to put the conditional statement. If this condition is met, it's going to run this code inside this curly braces. But the condition we're about to write, if it's not met, it is not going to. So let's say a, a lesser than, let's say 3. Is 2 lesser than 3? You know a is 2, right? Yeah. So is 2 lesser than 3? Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. This should be common. Expected, comma. Okay. This. So let's see what happens. Oh, my buzzer will soon hang. Let me. My buzzer has hung. Let me close it. <laughs> I always know what's going on here. I shouldn't have saved it. I just wanted to do explanation to us. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Let's just know what's going on here. A is 2. Is 2 lesser than 3? Yeah. Okay, let me close. I think this one also should. I need to close this also. Because this condition is met, it means it will console log hello. Change your Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Now, but if all we want to do is just to log LO to the console, then there is no point of making use of for loop if all we are interested in is just we could have written it outside the loop, right? Yeah. But the end of the loop is to repeat it. So let's see what happens. What happens is that immediately it is going to start when it's about to run this code, it starts from this place and say a equals to two. It's two lesser than three. Yes, because that condition is met, that means it's going to enter this curly braces around the code there. And because we have here says console log hello. After consoling log hello, it will come back and check this condition again. Are we getting it? When it gets to the end of this place, it will come back and check this condition again. What is the value of A? It's two less than three. Yeah. If you run this code, the code inside this curly braces again. When it's done, it comes back to this top again and check this condition. A lesser than two. A is two. It's two lesser than three. Yes. If you yeah. run the code again, when it's done, come, so it's going to keep doing that yeah. till eternity. Do we understand how that works now? Yes. So to keep logging hello to the console. <laughs> but you know, you actually want it to stop at a point. You don't want that to continue happening. If it continues like that, you won't be able to do anything. Because it will keep logging hello to the console till eternity. So you want it to stop. Let's see how or what we can do. So we can now say a equals to a plus 1. So let's see how this works. Variable a equals to 2, right? Yes. It's 2 lesser than 3. Yes. So it's going to run the code inside this place. So the first thing you have here is console log hello. It will log hello to the console. a equals to a plus 1. So what's the value of a now? 2. No. a equals to a plus 1. Oh, sorry, three. Good. A becomes three. So when it's done, it comes to this place and check the con this condition. What is A? A is a two. No, A is three. A is three, yeah, Good. sorry. A is three. So is A lesser than three? No. So it will terminate the loop. Do you get how this works now? Okay. So when we run this code, we, are, we only see hello one time. Okay. Let me reopen. Oops. So let's proceed. Okay, what am I going to see if I have a lesser than 1? If I own this code, how many times will I see hello on the screen? Infinity view. <laughs> <laughs> Why they call me about infinity? <laughs> four. They call me one class if I. No idea. Okay. So four. So the condition is not met. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, why is the condition not met? A, a is less than. Because yeah. A. <laughs> that's, that's like if statement. Like if a our variable than. by default is 2, and whenever A is less than 1, you should run console log 1, uh, uh, console log which contains a hello. So after logging that, at the first instance when you are going, A is less than 1. When you get to line 15, it, it, it will not. So that's three. Here you get okay. that's three. A plus one becomes three. So it will run it again. 
Probably this should be infinity, uh, infinite loop the way I'm looking at it. Okay. Ah, thank you, sir. Mr. Abisi, mm. tell us, sir. Infinity now, I will uh, talk to you. <laughs> okay, let's see how this works. So let's say we don't discuss. Look at this part. The first thing is a equals to two, right? Yeah. Is two lesser than one? No. No, because that condition is met, it will do nothing. Okay. So we are not going to see anything. But a new one, a A is two. Is two lesser than one? No. That yeah. condition is not met. And for that reason, it's not going to enter this place at all. Show you one. Right. Mr. Abisi, then say, my whole soul, all of our blessing to us, you should change your mind. Huh? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to go like that. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's say we have a lesser than 5. How many times are we going to see L on the screen? Three times. Okay, Mr. ABC. Okay, A is lesser than 5. Plus 2. 3. Yeah, infinity. What I've been like infinity, Mr. ABC. <laughs> <laughs> because. Yeah, i a that line 15 will make it to be greater than 5 at the point. Okay, let's explain what's going on. Tabalon, A is 2, right? Yeah. Is 2 lesser than 5? Yeah. So that means if we enter this place, right, along the coast there, Abina, yeah. it will console log L. Okay. When it's done, it's going to say A equals to A plus 1. A becomes what? 3. 3. 3, good. Is 2 lesser than 5? Yeah. If you enter this place around the coast there again, if you console log hello and say a equals so, okay. to a plus one, what is now what is a now? Okay, so it will keep on adding yes. one yes. to a. Yes. Right? Yes. Ah uh, now I get. So a will now become so after four. the third cycle. Ah, yeah. A will be greater than five. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So a will now becomes four. It's four lesser than yeah, five. Yeah. Yes, it will run the code there. A equals to a plus one, a becomes five. Is five lesser than five? No. Terminate. Yeah. So I understand what she's Yeah, very good. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. So we need LO3. Let's move on. Oh, oh, Daniel. Yes, I like that. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, instead of just considering like L, let's do something with the A itself. So we can say, console log, um, welcome. Oh, shall I see concatenation? Yeah. Okay. So we can say, welcome. Plus A. So this becomes welcome one. So the welcome to remember the value of a is initially two a b. Welcome yeah. to a becomes three. Then is still lesser than five years. Welcome three. A becomes four. Is four lesser than five years. Welcome four. A becomes five. Is five lesser than five? No, it's a term. So we're going to see. Welcome to welcome three. Welcome four. Welcome four. Okay. You got this one. So now here is my question. I want it to be welcome five, welcome four. So I welcome. I want it to be welcome four, 
Welcome to the and welcome to. Do you get it? Welcome for. Welcome to the and welcome to. Instead of two, three, four now, it will be four, three, two. Do you get the task? Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think we're going to do? We'll change the plus to minus on line 15. Okay. Is that all? Okay. But I'm not going to go to the system. I'm not going to the system. Then, if you change it to minus, then. Uh, Probably you should change the. The, the one. The other one to, to, to less than. Uh, to greater than five. Okay. Let's see how this works. A is two, right? Abina. Yeah. Is two greater than five? No. So it's, it's going it's to do nothing. Alright, I want to see you. Welcome for welcome to the welcome to. Senior devs. Maybe it's inside that console that will put uh, the A minus one. This will still not do anything. Hey, uh, then change, change line 15 to plus. What do I say now? The, the, the A is still less than 5, or not greater than 5. That's a kind of this is going to work. A equals to two, right? It's two less than five. Okay. Yes. Welcome. Let's see what's the A minus one. Two minus one. That is one. One. A plus one. A becomes three. I've been now. A is three. Remember, A started as two. So at this point, A will be three. It's three lesser than five, yes. Welcome. Three minus one, that's two. You can see a line that has been five interesting results to my four. I do, am I wrong now? Plus the yeah, MOK. Congratulations, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. Because, okay, NAN. Yeah. I thought that was my. Congratulations. Oh, my child, let's see. You know, you are starting from strength. So it's going to assume. That if you try to what it what happens is it's trying to concatenate or treat everything like this as strength. So I understand. Welcome plus A. Welcome plus A is a strength. Welcome plus two. two. That's a strength. You know that you have your one. That is minus one okay. okay. If we put it inside the van, will it will it will it will it's not going to give us the results we want anyway. But for the burning and in your one. Okay. Mm. <laughs> ah, see, I give the problem. Problem is move work on it. Ah. I like the problem with the phone because of the solution. Two three four call she like and two three one in the phone. Bro, bro, don't carry us go where we don't know. He don't, he don't know for a minute. He don't, 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 he <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, <brother. laughs> eh. Eh. Okay. Eh. 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 Eh.
So uh, we are not we are not we are not permitted to change what A is equal to A is. You can to change it if you want to. Whatever the buffet she has, you change it. You know, the buffet she. Try what together. Yes, yes sir. No, uh, sure, Gambo. Benny, sir. Change. F minus the F C L. Can you see? A is line fifteen. Okay. Uh, now, but yeah, we go if I the F C L. Yeah, you go, you go, go here, Nick. Okay. Hmm. So, I think it is equal to 5. Okay. Now, A is uh, less than or equal to 2. Okay. And there are no. For me, check off. Come on. Ah. Five is not less than two. So don't show less me. Ah. Okay, do not so. So you have to worry. Okay, do not so. Okay, you are actually close to the answer. See me? Yes. Just change this to get that down. Am I so wrong? I'll change this to four. That's all. Okay. Put that in the equality. So let's see what happens. A is four. Right? Is four greater than or equal to two? Put it down now. Give me this one, sir. Put it back. Okay. Who can make it in the city? Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Is four less better than or equal to two? Yes, Abby. It's it's greater than two. Yeah, so it's, it means this condition. So it will welcome four because A is four. When it's done, A equals to A minus one. A becomes what? Oh, the it becomes three. It's still greater than or equal to two. It's still greater than it. So it will welcome it will console log welcome three because a is three. When is done, mm. a equals v minus one, a becomes two. It's still greater than or equal to two. Yes. All right. It is a console log a plus console log two. A equals to a minus one, a becomes one. Is one greater than or equal to two? No. It's not. It's not greater than and it's not equal to two. So, it will terminate. Shall we show you our change? Yes. So we have this. Welcome from. Welcome to. The, welcome to. The. Uh, grab the paper off from me. Ah, you done. <laughs> You don't feel like you don't think you don't know. You got to know it now. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know Okay. Shall I understand what she's saying? Yes. Now, let's yeah. talk about this part. Instead of A equals to A minus 1, we can shorten it as A minus minus. Mm. So A minus 1 is the same thing as A equals to A minus 1. Let me explain that part a bit. A minus 1 is not the same as A minus minus. Let's first solve this. A minus 1, it is not the same as A minus minus. Reason is this. 
let's get a variable variable a equals to 4 a minus 1 console log a what are we going to see no a is still 4 we sub, although we subtracted one from a, but we didn't set it as the value of a. Our here will still remain its value. Do we get yeah, it? That's cool. So, but let's assume is a equals to a minus one. The a will now change to three, so that this part will give us three. Show you here, you are. Okay. So a minus minus is this one. Is a equals to a minus one? Not just a minus one. Meaning that after subtracting 1 from it, a minus minus is setting it back as the value of a. Shall you understand, Ben? So that is what we used here. a minus minus is the same as a equals to a minus 1. If you, are, if you just put a minus 1, this will result in infinite loop. Because a refers before. Is 4 greater than or equal to 2? Yes. When it's done, it enters this loop. Welcome A. A is 4 AB. A minus 1, that's 3, but it's not setting it back. So A is still 4. Do we get it? Yeah. So A is still 4. Is 4 greater than or equal to 2? Yes. Welcome A. That's welcome 4. A minus 1. A greater than or equal to 4 is still greater than or equal to 2. So it will keep running this till eternity. But A minus minus. We subtract one from the value of a and set it back as the new value of a. In the same way, also a plus plus also means a equals to a plus one. Shani Bailey. Possible, sir. Okay. So a minus minus. Now let's now connect our loop with our, you know, we looked at our at the beginning of this class. Now we are looking at, yes, sir. let's now link them together. So I'm going to create a variable. I will call it ARL. And inside this, I can put some numbers there. Or I can just put anything I want there. Let's say we have this. So, A equals to zero. I want to say Oops, what am I doing? So I want to display this welcome based on the number of items in this array. So I can say hey provided that a is lesser than five then a plus plus let's see how that works. A is zero, right? Yeah. Is zero lesser than five? Yeah. Yes. If you console log hello, a plus plus a becomes one. Is one lesser than five? Yes, if the yes. console log hello, a plus plus a becomes two. Is two lesser than five? Yes. yes. If the console log hello, a plus plus a becomes three. Is three lesser than five? Yes. If the console log hello, a becomes four. Is four lesser than five? Yes. If the console log hello, a becomes five. Is five lesser than five? No, it terminates. So it's going to display hello five times. Show you your wallet. So, let's check. Hello five times. What's my name? So if I had more items to this array, and I still run this code, how many hello are we going to see? Five nine. It is still five. So what if I now want it to be seven? Because we now have several items in this array. There is nothing telling us that uh, there's nothing collect, connecting line 13 to line 15 yet. 
can still separate code. Then I will so change it. We would have just gone there and changed it to seven. Good. Shall have found the level here. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. But then, the you know with this approach, Bashen she is that if you keep doing it like this, if you add more items to this array, you have to come here again and adjust it. Like Mr. Blessing said, there's nothing connecting this and this together. So, what you can do is this. Once this quotes, this for loop to be flexible, so that if this array should be longer, we want this to also display hello more times. If this array should be shorter, we want this to also display this array, uh, this hello lesser times. So, what we can now do, instead of encoding 7, we can now say arl dot length. Remember, length is number of items in the array. So, arl dot length. So, in this case now, what is the, how many items do we have in the array? This is 7. So, arl dot length is 7. And to do it for us. Hello, seven times. If you have more items in this array, let's say 70, 80, then error dot length is now nine. I've been now. So it will display this nine times. Any question before we round up? No questions. So assignment, interaction for the next class. Now today's class we just did for one hour. Then we continue from there on Saturday. That's our next class. So in that class, you're going to be able to look at more things, look at this deeper and complete this part of array and loop together. So assignment. Our assignment is this. Inside this Instead of saying console log, okay, like this, I want it to be LO5, LO7, you know, based on the number of items, based on the items in this array. You know, the first item here is 5, Abby. I want it to display LO5, also LO7, it also display LO9, LO1, LO3, LO8, LO50, LO70, LO80. I can't make it. LO5, LO7, LO9, LO1, LO3. It's going to display each one. Why don't we change those uh, five two names then? Okay. okay. So probably something like Hello Tai, Hello Candy. Okay, just drink. Ah, okay, so I know what we do. What the? I have to be Hello Tai, Hello Candy, Hello Blessing, Hello BC. Do you understand how this works? Yeah. Okay. So that's the assignment. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a lovely night rest. Thank uh, you, sir. Yes, sir.